joy, rapture, bliss, ecstasy, happy. We're leaving Downing Street for the last time. These are the sorts of images that make the people of Britain dance around a room with glee. <laughs> Cheers. There's nothing like victory for the underdog to spark off scenes of wild celebration in places like London, Cardiff or Glasgow. Scientists have proven that England's World Cup triumph in 1966 kept Britain's pecker up throughout the political unrest, power cuts and appalling sitcoms of the 1970s. And of course, it's well known that Bucks Fizz winning Eurovision got us through the Falklands. So, have the people in power underestimated the power of the feel-good factor? Well, it seems not. Just last week I received an anonymous tip-off from a Mrs Sandra Willis, who up until recently was working as a cleaner for the Joy Division. But who are the Joy Division?! I hear you shout. Well, they're a little-known branch of MI5, whose sole task it is to make Britain happy, and they operate here in London's fashionable North London. Posing as an attractive cleaner, I managed to infiltrate their offices and was struck by the strangeness of the two men and by the stench of stale biscuits. Theirs is a lonely and dirty world. Oh, um, yeah, sorry about the mess. Um, uh, uh, if we, Dennis, could you just help me um, tidy up? Dennis, just, just, um... Well, I'm trying to persuade Amy Winehouse to split up. And? Stuck in a queue. Oh. Oh, we'll keep, we'll keep trying. Um, <laughs> the Joy Division specialise in fixing events to make the people of Britain happier. Their first major success was the perfect sixes of Torval and Dean in the 84 Olympics. But arguably their greatest triumph was Sir Steve Redgrave's fifth gold medal. So old he could barely make it down the stairs, would Sir Steve live up to the country's expectations? Hmm? Redgrave's dreams are dying, Britain are in last place. Away the moment, Britain comes surging through, Britain have won. During my time cleaning their grubby spoons, I was lucky enough to get a glimpse into the current Joy Division project getting Tim Hedman out of retirement to win Wimbledon. Dennis, look at this. He's even got the hair of a champion. I mean, how on earth did that man not win Wimbledon? Because he's a loser. Oh, come on. He's handsome, he's virile, he's British. And he's a bottle job. Yeah, but what about Hedman Hill? The man has a hill. What's more British than a hill? Whilst mopping, I watched them draw up a list of those who could beat Hedman and so must be neutralised. I'm selling you. Do not underestimate the power of the Natasha Kaplinsky underarm set. Well, right, but, but Brian, bless it. I mean, blah. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. Yeah. But what would people in Britain think if they knew their happiness was being manipulated? We went out on a street in Britain to see what people in Britain on a street would think. All right. Angielki są grube, albo wyglądają jak konie, a mężczyźni są beznadziejni. Wise words, probably. So, what lengths will these people go to? Is there anything they won't do to get a smile on your face? Uh, so, you're, you're saying that uh, Nadal will be incarcerated for... Badger baiting. Right. Uh, and, and, and where did you say Leighton Hewitt would be again? Down a pothole in Albania. I see. see. Do you think that's a bit much? Wow. Well, He's Australian. But with all the preparation in the world, some things don't go according to plan. Like when the team tried to stop Catherine Tate from ruining Doctor Who. They didn't drop the Dalek from high enough. Where am I? But why are the Joy Division the best judges of what makes Britain happy? You could ask me. For instance, we could have a swimwear version of Songs of Praise, or make pavements wider. And that's just two ideas out of four. Please make England win the World Cup? No. But now the Joy Division have started listening to the public. Why not help England win the World Cup? Bugger off! They've secretly set up their own public website, 
to allow the British people to make suggestions of their own. Please help England for World Cup. <laughs> I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. Fabio Capello. I am not a bloody miracle worker. There, there, Dennis. It's okay. Have a cup of tea. It's better with a cup of tea, isn't it? So perhaps they can't do everything, but they can do some mighty amazing things. Do you, for instance, remember the hot summer of 2004? Phew, what a scorcher. But do you also remember the light aircraft seeding clouds above the west of Ireland, diverting all Britain's rain for six months? It's feckin' raining again. It's pissing like me grandpa. It's shite, and it gets right up me arse. No. So, not only do they do sporting subterfuge and celebrity stuff, but they'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on your face. Even scientists aren't safe. Ah, uh, how's the Hawking project going? Just downloading the Cornish accent now. So, people of Britain, thanks. Next time you punch the air with joy or throw up in the gutter with glee, remember to thank the Joy Division. that you think about, what worries you the most about the future of the universe? All right, my lover. What gives old Steve the willies is thought gravity business. Planets just hanging in the air. What's thought all about? <laughs>